let's do some math for fun and this is about trick here we have the condition if sine of 2 theta is equal to 1 over 4 we are going to figure out the value for sine to a 6 power theta plus cosine to a 6 power theta hmm is it possible or well, maybe i should ask is it easy to solve for theta right here and then plugging the theta value into this expression and work it out i don't think so right first because we have the six powers here and second if you do want to do that theta is not going to be a nice value right so let's not do it like that well i see a small trouble right now because first we have sine of two theta but then this and that are just theta right the angles are different that's no good in general but this is an easy fix because sine of two theta we do have a nice formula for right right so let me put down the things that we know first let me use the double angle formula for sine sine of two theta is the same as two sine theta times cosine theta this and that are the same and of course this will be still equal to one over four okay and now let's look at this carefully sine to the sixth power plus cosine to the sixth power it looks kind of suspicious the sixth power and in fact i think i know how to factor this out because we have done something like that in algebra right but then to factor out sixth power we cannot do this right away because we only can factor the sum of two cubes we cannot factor out the sum of two squares but we can factor out the sum of two cubes right so let me put on that formula this is what we know as well if we have a to the third power plus b to the third power this will be the same as a plus b and then we multiply by a square minus a b and then plus b square like that right so why don't we try to use this formula and try to factor this out and try to break it down as much as possible and let's see what will happen and put it down right here for you guys and in order to factor this out i will have to write this as something to the third power and then we add it with something else to the third power right well first we have sine to the sixth power theta what should i fill in in the parentheses okay i can just fill in this as sine square theta because the second power and then raised to the third power we multiply the powers two times three we get a six right so similarly right here we need to have cosine square theta and now we can get to work because this is the a this is the b so let's go ahead and factor it out right here okay so we will have a plus b which is going to be sine square theta plus b which is cosine square theta and then for the second parentheses we will have a square which is this and then square and let me write this down for you guys first i will put it down as parentheses sine square theta and then square and then minus a b which is this times that sine square theta cosine square theta and lastly we have that plus b square and once again let me keep a parentheses around it cosine square inside like this and then square that and this is what we have how cool is this you see that already huh because sine square theta plus cosine square theta is nothing but just one isn't it so this right here is just one and one times this of course we just have this to work with right let me write this down again this is just going to be sine square theta square minus sine square theta cosine square theta and then plus parentheses cosine square theta square i know this is sine to the fourth power theta but let me just keep it as how it is okay this is really nice and can we still keep factoring well this formula stops right here because this is not factorable a squared minus a b plus b squared we know this is not factorable right however we know something similar and that's actually factorable let me write it down we first know that if we have a to the second power minus 2 a b and then plus b squared ha huh, this is similar to that right and this is actually factorable this is the same as saying we will just have a minus b 
and square. That's nice, right? And you see, A is this, B is that, the sine square theta, cosine square theta. And in fact, I don't really want to use this formula because, um, as I said, this is the A, this is the B. If I happen to end up with sine square theta minus cosine square theta, I don't know too much about it, right? This is much better, sine square theta plus cosine square theta. It's just one. So I don't want to look at the subtraction situation. Let's take a look of the addition situation, how's that? So, similar to this formula here, we know that a squared, if we have plus 2ab, and then plus b squared, this is going to be a plus b, and we square that. This is going to be much better, because once again, this is my a still, this is my b still, right? So now let's try to make things happen. So far, this is a squared minus ab plus b squared, okay? And this is what I want to end up with. This is minus 1, right? This is like a minus 1 in front right here. And I wish to have plus 2, right? That would be so nice if we do have the plus 2. So how can I make that happen? Well, this is minus 1, right? 1 times sine squared theta, cosine squared theta. Why don't I just add 3? Because negative 1 plus 3 is plus 2. So, look at this term. Let me add 3 sine squared theta cosine squared theta. If I combine this term and that term together, I will end up with plus 2 sine squared theta cosine squared theta, right? That's so nice. However, I cannot add this to that, right? But if I subtract the same thing right away, let me minus 3 sine squared theta cosine squared theta. If I do that, I can pretend nothing happened because this and that together is just 0. Okay? And now let's keep working this out. So, let me put this down for you guys now. First term, let me just do it right here as sine squared theta, and I'll square that. And for this and that, I'm going to combine the terms. Negative 1 plus 3 is plus 2, so I'll put on plus 2. And then we still have the sine squared theta, cosine squared theta, so nice. And then let me bring down this term, plus cosine squared theta, and then square. Okay. And now you see, based on this right here, we have the a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which matches second down form, right? And of course, at the end, don't forget this right here. We still have the minus 3 sine squared theta, cosine squared theta, right here to worry about. All right, let's see. For the first three terms right here, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is exactly a plus b and then squared. So I can write this as a, which is sine squared theta, and I add with b, which is cosine squared theta, and then I square that. So nice, isn't it? Because once again, you end up with 1. Now, of course, let me write this down again. Minus 3 sine squared theta times cosine squared theta. All right, this time, as I said, this is 1. And when you do 1 square, you still end up with 1. But then, this is the number 1, you have to subtract this term, right? So, we still have to write down the 1 right here. Okay, so this is just 1, that's good. This is minus 3. And now, we have sine squared theta, cosine squared theta. Let's come back here again. <laughs> Let's look at this. This is what we know from the original, right? We know sine 2 sine theta, cosine theta is equal to 1 over 4, right? Well, if you look at this and divide both sides by 2, you will get sine theta, cosine theta is equal to 1 over 8. Right? Let me just put this down right here. Okay, divide both sides by 2. And this is what we have, right? This and that. Well, let me write this down. Minus 3. Sine squared theta, cosine squared theta, I can write it down as sine theta inside, cosine theta inside of a parenthesis, and then square. And the reason I want to do that is I know sine theta times cosine theta. This is just 1 over 8. So we are almost done. This is equal to 1 minus 3, and then this is 1 over 8 inside. And then square that. So this is 1 minus 3 times 
1 over 8 uh, to the second power is 1 over 64 so altogether is 1 minus 3 over 64 get a common denominator do whatever you want to do at the end you will end up with 61 over 64 this is it so cool isn't it Bye.